Hare Krishna, another speed recording, you know what I'm saying, I don't have much time, I just try to steal a minute here and there, I'm feeling good, I hope everybody's feeling good, yo, check it out, right, so there's this thing called bhakti, it's called devotional service, right, and we like to talk a lot about how it follows you from life to life, whatever progress you make in devotional service, it does follow you from life to life, if you get 1% in this life, guaranteed you starting at 1% and 2% in the next life, right, so cool, let's establish, so, to get a touch of this bhakti, it's not like regular yoga, where you could just pick it up and start practicing it by your whims, no, it does not work like that, devotional service, bhakti, follows you from life to life, so there's a good chance that if you are attracted to Gaudiya Vaishnava, Bhakti, Yoga, of Gaudiya, the, if you're attracted to the service of Lord Vishnu, there's a strong, 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 strong chance that you've engaged this process in a past life. So I like to shout out my friends, right, because they don't realize what they be doing. They get a lot of Agyato Sukriti. Let me give you an example. Agyato Sukriti, once again, Su means good or auspicious. Kriti comes from the root word, it's a verb, Kri, which means to do. So when you have Kriya Yoga, it's a form of yoga in action. And Kri means to do. So Sukriti is when you do something good, Agyata, unknowingly. Good. This is the month of Kartika. In the month of Kartika, which is the most powerful, dear month. Remember, in the Vedic system, all of the months are named after Lord Vishnu. This is the month of Kartika or Damodara. Damo, as I told you before, I've learned it before, other people tell you, Damo, Rope, Uddara, Waste. The month when Krishna was tied by the waist. So in this month of Damodara, it's the month for Vratas or Vows. Vows help you to make advancement. The simplest vows in this month is daily. We, restrite, we recite something called Damodarastakam. Eight verses. Astakam. Eight verses. Eight verses praising Lord Damodara to remember what happened at that incident. It had a lot to do with the sons of the Lord of Wealth. They had to be liberated. The Lord of Money, not Wealth. The Lord of Money, his name is Kubera. And two of his sons were trapped in a tree for Lord knows how many thousands of years. And to become liberated, their blessing was that they would meet Lord Krishna. So a part of this pastime from Krishna being naughty was that he happened to pull down two trees. You know, just being a kid, climbing in between two trees. But not a regular kid, of course. Supreme Personality of Godhead. Pulling down two trees for him is like pulling out two nose hairs for me. It's so simple. You know what I mean? So good. And when he busts down these trees, uh, huh. I know their names. Nala Kuvera or Mani Griva, right? I think that's name. And, and they were released on these trees. So in this month, any vow you do, for example, when you take a bath, right? Take a shower early in the morning. It lasts. It's good for one day. But if you take a shower to go to a Vishnu temple or you're bathing to purify yourself ritually for Krishna, then it lasts one lifetime. That's right. One bath. The effects of one bath can last one time for a whole life. But... If you bathe early in the morning during the month of Kartik, the benefit is for 100 lifetimes. So anything you do in the month of Kartik, any vows you take, any fast you do, whatever you do that's in the divine path, it lasts. It First of all, it has the potency of 1,000 and it lasts for 100 lifetimes. Whatever good you do. If you do charity to a hungry person in this month, you will not starve for 100 lifetimes. That's fresh. I like that. So I got this friend named Mariah Obama on Twitter and me and her, we get into our little debates sometimes. I got mad love for this girl. She's very intellectual. She likes to study. I don't agree with all of our ideas and we go at it, but we still love each other. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter. I go at her. She comes at me. A lot of the times it'd be misunderstandings. But one thing I like about this girl, she always researching. So this morning she hits me. On Twitter, talking about on this day in history, Swami Prabhupada. Now, remember, she's not a follower of Prabhupada, but she goes to me. On this day in history, Swami Prabhupada died. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool, cool. It might be today in India because they're 24 hours ahead. And we'll be celebrating the, the, uh, the leaving, the disappearance of Prabhupada. We'll be celebrating that tomorrow in the West. So I corrected her. I told her, yeah, we'll celebrate tomorrow over here. But yeah, it happened today in India in 1977. 
she don't realize she just got a Gyato Sukriti. She remembered a servant of Vishnu. We don't care if this is a lowly servant of Vishnu or highly elevated servant of Vishnu because on the absolute plane, everything is absolute anyway. A devotee is a devotee. And if you honor a devotee of Vishnu, guess what you just got? A Gyata Sukriti. So in your next life, or even in this life, it's not too late. In, but definitely in your next life, you're going to be automatically born with some Adhikar. Adhikar simply means qualification. Just for example, when I came to the Krishna Conscious Movement, I was a nobody. I still am a nobody. And I will forever be a nobody. And each day in Krishna Consciousness for me is the first day. However, through the divine blessings, the guidance of Paramatma, because I was always sincere to him, I didn't realize that back when I was a Muslim, I was already doing a lot of the austerities that Prabhupada had his followers doing in the 60s and the 70s. I was taking cold showers in the mosque. I was doing that. I was taking cold showers, then getting and going to Salat, and I was waking up before the sunrise, making Salat. I was praying five times a day, but that prayer before sunrise was during Brahma Muhurta, so I was getting so much unknown Agyato Sukriti. I was taking cold showers, I was doing tapas, I was doing penances, I was already doing vikr. I, would, I used to chant so much when I was in Islam. So I was already chanting, I was already doing so many of the nine limbs of devotion, I was getting my head start under Dr. York. So when I came to Krishna consciousness, a lot of this stuff came naturally to me. The Quran is only open to the al-mukhlasina, those who are purified. And what is the path of purification but chanting the holy names of the Lord in this age? Whether you Muslim, Christian, Hindu, whatever you are, chanting is the means of deliverance and the means of purification. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, he calls it Chaito Darpanam, which is the cleansing of the mirror of the soul. So I'm telling you, whatever y'all are doing out there, you're getting a Gyato Sukriti. And that girl, Mariah Obama, in our next life, she's already going to have qualifications beyond that of a normal person. Because unknowingly, she's doing some service for a devotee of Vishnu. Sukriti, Sukriti, Sukriti. Do good, do charity in this month. Just do good, do good, do good, do transcendental, do spiritual, but do something, y'all. Once again, Agyato Sukriti is real. This process of devotional service began in a previous life. Like for me, I think I was just a bird in front of a temple, and I just happened to eat some rice, some prasadam rice, and just because of that, I'm in a human form. I was in a cockroach, I was a cockroach. I got stepped on by a devotee. But before that, he didn't even step on me on purpose, or she didn't step on me on purpose, but they were doing Harinam Sankirtan. And with my little roach antennas, I heard this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I didn't know what that stuff was. And they stepped on me, oh no, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. And that was it. And then I was born in 1973 in this body with a lot of good fortune. So once again, <laughs> this is the absolute path. Absolute path. I invite everybody that if you just want to visit the Hare Krishna Mandir at 111-14-101 Ave, approximately 6 o'clock every Sunday evening, we have a free love feast. We have yoga, we have meditation, we have mantra. If you just step into the Vishnu temple one time, understand that you already have previous qualification or you have permission. You can't just walk into a Hare Krishna temple. You can't just walk into a Vishnu temple. You need permission. It has to be sanctioned. Just like you can't just get on a plane and go to Vrindavan. You have to be sanctioned. You have to receive spiritual permission. So just come once, hear the holy names, honor some prasad, and leave. And if you never come again, that's cool. Because in your next life, you will be re-approached by Krishna or you will be ready to approach Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances. Nitai Gora Haribo.